Hi, welcome back to Shawnee Hills Workshop. If you're just joining us in this series, make sure to check back to the last few videos where we built a custom mount for the winch, upgraded the winch, and built this log arch. Now today we're gonna to be finishing up the log arch, getting all the mounting permanently done, getting all the welds finished up, putting a coat of paint on it, and hopefully we can lift the log. In my last video, I talked about how I was trying to decide between welding the brackets versus bolting them in. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about just the inner brackets. The outer brackets are obviously welded in, but the inner brackets, I have decided to bolt them. Um, I may end up going back and welding them, but there was two things that made me decide to bolt them instead. The first is the distance in between them. If I need to drive a vehicle up on here to haul a vehicle, that extra space could mean quite a bit. Cause right now, like for instance, my white truck only has about two inches to spare. So, you know, it'd be nice to have that extra room. The other is I can always weld it later, but I can't bolt it later. You know, I can't undo the weld. Once I do all the plug welds and weld the full perimeter, that's a real hard thing to undo. Whereas if I decide later that, you know, this bolting is um, not strong enough, I need to weld it down, I can always weld it. So it's not an issue. Well, all right, let's get to it. Knuckles. Okay. Alright, I got the mounting point for the winch cable welded on. I feel like it's as good as I can do. I might try to find somebody that's got a, a 220 volt welder, see if they can 
put another layer over top of mine and really burn it in there. That's a high stress area and I hate for that to let go and uh, hit the back of my vehicle or somebody. So um, I'll probably be watching that really closely as I'm using it. Look for any signs of you know fatigue. I also put some stitches on the gussets. Still quite a bit more to be welded on there, but I think I'm gonna go eat supper. And then when I get back, I'm gonna mount it. And I think we'll try to lift a log on here to see how it does. And then uh, later on in the week, I can finish up all the welding and painting. Well, I guess I forgot to hit record a while ago. Um, so I'm not gonna say everything over again and re-film uh, that, but we basically just put the bolts in and finger tighten them for the brackets here on both sides. And we're gonna get ready and uh, make sure everything's working, tighten them down good, and then try lifting a log. What do you think? Are you excited? Now I'm the one that edits the video, so I get to choose what is in the video and what's not. And I could very easily edit this out, but I was so busy watching the log that I wasn't paying attention to my blanket here. <laughs> oh man, I started to cut it out and I thought before I cut it out, I gotta show you guys. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. But things happen, especially when you're under a little bit of stress. And you're excited. But the important thing is how you deal with them. It would be real easy to lose my temper right now. And I would be able to justify it in my head.
Well, I would say that was a success. Now, the bad thing is I've realized that the sawmill is going to have to get put off a little bit further again. I'm going to have to get a proper winch blanket. You know, they're small, weighted. I just can't, the risk of that popping is just going to be in the back of my mind. So I'm going to have to get a winch blanket. I'm also going to have to get the wireless remote. The cord on the remote is just not quite long enough for me to be able to get to the arch and reattach the log and move the arch. And I can't be going back and forth because sometimes I'm holding the arch up to keep it from collapsing onto the trailer. So, you know, it's all a learning process. It's not stuff I was intending, but being able to get the logs is just as important as being able to saw them. So it's still going towards the ultimate goal of having a sawmill and be able to saw here on the property, but it'll come, you know, I'm a, I'm a patient man. I can wait till I can save up and do it right. So we'll get those on order and hopefully get that done soon. Now, I still got a little bit more welding to do just to finish up and I've got um, to weld some bushings onto the outside of the trailer so I can, you know, step, so I can pin those pins in so they won't come back out. I'm worn out. This has been a long two days and I, I don't have much left in me. Well, if you like these kind of videos, click that thumbs up button. If you don't like this kind of video, click the thumbs down button. Either way, leave me a comment telling me why. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you. Click that subscribe button. And if you'd like to get notified every time I put out a new video, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.